Hello everyone. Hope you have completed all the problems which we have discussed in the first part of isometric projection. That is isometric projection of single solids. So far we have discussed about press, pyramid, sphere, hemisphere, cone, cylinder and frustum. Frustum of cones and frustum of regular geometrical pyramids. Now why frustum? Frustum of pyramids and frustum of cone. This topic is very important because all solids, all solids except frustum are in the syllabus of combination of solids. But here in single solids we have only frustum which is not in the syllabus of combination of solids. So there in combination of solids we have many options to combine with. But here we have the most important topic frustum which will take more time as compared to prism and pyramid. Also, you have to draw two helping figures for frustum and third reason is there no one is going to ask about frustum. So here frustum is the important one. So after hexagonal, square, pentagonal and frustum of cones, today we are going to project one more frustum, frustum of triangular pyramid. Let's take the problem. Draw the isometric projection of the frustum of triangular pyramid having top base edge 40 mm and bottom base edge 50 mm with a height of 75 resting on its longer base keeping one of its base side parallel to the VP and nearer to observer. Here for projection we will assume that the first term of triangular pyramid is a part of triangular prism of size 75 and 50. So here for the base, base edge, base side is 50 and height is 75. Now we have to extract parts of first term from this base. Top base edge is 40 and this is 50. So we will make it 40 and we will extract the final first term from this pyramid. Now moving to other constraints, resting on its longer base. So the longer base is resting on HP, keeping one of its base side parallel to the VP. One of its base side is, this side is parallel to VP, to the VP and nearer to the observer. And the side is nearer to observe. So this side is parallel to VP and the same side is nearer to the observer or away from VP. So this is final position. Longer base on the ground or HP shorter base on top and an edge of longer base is parallel to VP near to observer. So for the first term first we will assume that we are going to project the base solid which is a prism. So we have to project this prism here resting on its base on HP keeping first side along first isometric axis. So we are going to project this solid first. Now for projecting a triangular prism of size 50 and 75, first we have to draw the helping figure for triangular base. So drawing a regular triangle of size 50, but in construction work we have to take ISO 50, then here is ISO 50. So drawing a regular triangle, equilateral triangle of size ISO 50. ISO 50. Right, and then we have to enclose this triangle inside a rectangle by drawing lines parallel to and perpendicular to the base side. So the base itself is parallel to the reference line. So drawing lines perpendicular to the first base, and then from the last column, line parallel to the base. Right. Now we have the dimensions of helping figure or helping box. This is box. Next we have to find the center, center of the triangle. So for finding center, drawing lines from corner 
to opposite midpoint and corner to opposite midpoint. Common sense. The intersection point is the center. Locating center, center of the triangle. So we have base of size 50 y and y dash y is the height of the helping box and y dash is the location of center or distance of the center from first base also drawing center lines from the center of the triangle parallel and perpendicular to first base side so this is the base triangular base which is to be projected here along horizontal plane of isoset so marking 50 or marking limits of this helping figure 50 along first isoaxis and y along second isoaxis these are limits 50 and y next is drawing lines parallel to first and second isoaxis from mark points so from the first line drawing line parallel to second isoaxis and from the second point line parallel to first isoaxis Next, from all corners of the helping box, drawing line parallel to third or vertical isoaxis, generators of the helping box, and the length which we have to mark here is 75. So we have to mark ISO 75 along all four lines here here the lines now ISO 75 is see this is ISO 75 now we have all four corners of the upper helping base drawing lines passing through these points again parallel to first and second isoaxis so this is the top base now we have to mark center center of top base and center of bottom base so from the first base side, this is the distance along second isoaxis. So from these two points, first center line we pass. And here from opposite corner, this is the corner and midpoint of the this side. These are the points. Again, center line will pass through the midpoints. So this is the center of bottom base. Next marking center for the top base repeating process these are two points of center line and these are other limits so 
So these are two centers of top and bottom base. Drawing solid axis by joining these two centers. Now from the top center, from top center, we are required to draw another regular triangle of size 40 because the shorter base edge is 40. So on top we have another base, another base of size regular, triangular of size 40. So for the shorter base again we have to draw helping figure for shorter base. So drawing a regular triangle of size ISO 40 for top base. And again we have to take isometric line, isometric line corresponding to 40. Then from lines from all corners parallel to and perpendicular to first base side, parallel to first base side and then perpendicular to first base side. This is the helping figure or helping box for shutter base. For finding center, we draw lines from opposite midpoint to the corner, corner to opposite midpoint, corner section point is the center, also locating center from the base. of helping figure. 40 by 1 dash and by 1. Drawing center lines for shutter angular base Okay. Now the top base, top base or shutter base will be on the top, will be on the top plane which is already projected there, but center of the shutter base and center of the projected base will be same. So using same center, these are limits, these are four limits using which we have to project the shutter base. So marking limits along center lines. This is first limit along first iso axis. Same on other side. This is the limit for second center line. And this is last limit. Now we have all four limits of helping box. Now drawing lines parallel to first and second ISO axis or parallel to first and second center lines from these points. And parallel to second ISO axis. So it's a mistake from my side because these two lines are not parallel. Okay, no problem. We'll project shut base now on the projected helping figure. So this is the first corner, this is second corner, and this is the last corner, third corner, and other two corners. Now in the last step, we are required to show all visible generators and sides, outlines of the side. So this is first visible side, this one is second side, third side. Now from this corner to that corner, 
It's a visible generator, visible generator okay? from last corner to the corresponding corner. These are visible generators. Okay, so this is final projection of the triangular first half triangular pyramid which is resting on its longer base and an edge of the longer base is parallel to VP and away from VP or near to observer. Next, dimensioning extending lines parallel to second iso axis the extension line this is 50 here extending in bits of helping figure because the side is also equal to the side of helping figure this is 40 and excess center to vertical center and for dimensioning line please draw line parallel to the solid axis this one is 7 5 and direction of viewing or observation from the center along second isometric axis now in examination please write heading of these items these two triangles are helping figure helping And final answer isometric projection. Isometric speed Isometric projection is your main heading. Last color code in this problem, if you use yellow color for HP pencil, white color for H pencil, and pink color for 2H pencil. Pink is for all construction work, light work, H, H pencil for medium work, all naming, center lines, and uh, HB for final outline. Now I will request you to please draw this problem, indicating direction of observation, do all dimensioning, naming in your sheet. And if you have any doubt regarding this problem or regarding any other problem from engineering graphics, please drop a message or comment box. Thank you.